has a name, Francois Toulour, Baron Francois Toulour. Father was a French industrialist, mother was Italian nobility. He never met her, but he inherited her title. The bad news is he's rich, he's bored, and he's talented. The really bad news is he was trained by Lamarck. What? Oh, no. This is not good. With V. Lamarck? Gaspar Lamarck. That's the one. Well, we're doomed. No, we're not doomed. Come on, he's one guy and he's French. Yeah. Before we get too impressed by this geezer's background, let's hear what he's actually done. He started in the early 90s. Bank of Geneva, the Danish Treasury, the Bank of Italy, AMC AMRO, the Brussels Diamond Exchange, the Antwerp Diamond Exchange. Wait, wait, all those in the 1990s? I'm only up to 96. Seriously? In 97, he went through an art phase. He hit the Tate in London, the Louvre in Paris, twice, and the Prado. Wait, no, no, hang on. The Prado Museum in 97? That was Moretti. Everybody he is that. Moretti. It's one of his aliases. Okay, in the interest of time, I'll skip to my favorite. In 2002, he stole the King of Morocco's 200-foot yacht, vanished into thin air. Crew surfaced a few days later in a life raft. Couldn't remember a thing. How do you hide a 200-foot yacht? The king knows he's not telling. He got it back a month later. He now plays tennis with Tallur every weekend. We're in some serious trouble here, aren't we? Copy that. So what do we do? We respond. Respond? How? In kind. Quelle joie et quelle surprise de vous voir ici. <coughs> Mr. Ocean. You broke rule number one, and that has consequences. Oh, you must be talking about the paintings. Don't worry. You'll be dead in five days and I'll get my paintings back. Unless you have an accident first. <laughs> I don't think so, Daniel. Perhaps I should uh, explain to you why I'm tormenting you like this. I'd like that. Mm -hmm. Well, you see, last month I was in Portugal to see my mentor. A mark. Indeed. A very loud and annoying American businessman was there the same day. He worked for a big insurance company. He's the one who suggested Benedict to you as a potential mark. You know the man? What about him? Well, he said it was the most beautiful job he'd ever seen, and he went on and on about this job, and then he said... <laughs> It showed you were the greatest thief in the world. But the worst part is that Lamarck never corrected him. I told Lamarck that you can't be better than me. And he answered that it was impossible to know for sure. So, I thought about that for like three weeks in a row, day and night. And then suddenly I realized that he was actually right. It is impossible to compare one theft to the other. Huh? So, I guess the only way to know the best of us, for sure, is to go after the same object. Do the same job, don't you think? That would be fun. You're being awfully cavalier with a lot of people's lives so you can play out a game. You're gonna regret it. Oh, come on, Mr. Ocean. How are you gonna possibly get 97 million dollars by next Wednesday? Especially if every safe you crack between now and then is already empty. Whereas if you accept my challenge and win, I promise I'll pay your debt to Benedict. And Lamarck will hold my money in escrow as a guarantee. What are we stealing? 